Alfred Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV, to get me on camera on a Sunday, I got to either A, be in a great mood, or B, be hyped about something, all right, or fired up about something. Uh, for those who don't know, when the playoffs come around, every single NBA postseason game, to the best of my abilities, because I'm pretty booked up in May, I'm going to try to give you a post-game reaction to all the games going on. Try to give you a highlight as well on my other channel, the Telefair Media channel. But this is this is straightforward. We're going to get right into it. I'm not even going to hold you up. The Cavs were up 26 points to the Atlanta Hawks and lose in overtime. And I was trying to get to this game, actually. I really was trying to make it happen to this game in Atlanta. Reaction. All right, for those who still believe that this Cavs team is bound to make a um, a deep postseason run with pretty much with nothing in the way, with no glimpses on the record, you're wrong. All right, I'm not saying the Cavs won't get to the finals, but this is going to be a lot tougher than a lot of people expected. This Cavs team not clicking on all cylinders. Atlanta is playing really good basketball. In the last week, they've beaten the Cavs twice, once in Cleveland, once at home, and they've beaten the Boston Celtics. So Atlanta is hot as they could be right now at the right time. Let me give Atlanta credit because they're putting in a lot of work. As a matter of fact, I seen Atlanta. I was in Atlanta for the first game after the All-Star break against the Miami Heat. They laid an egg. So to, to see that team play and now to see Paul Millsap and them boys rolling right now, it's, it's a sight to see after everything they went through this offseason, losing Al Horford, losing Jeff Teague, I'm happy for Atlanta basketball. Let me make this clear. The Cavs got too much talent present to be losing games where they pretty much could, for all intents and purposes, wrap up the Eastern Conference. I think their magic number was two. Um, but now, I, if I'm not mistaken, the Boston Celtics are now a half game back up in the race for number one in the Eastern Conference. The Cavs blew it. After that huge game against Boston in Boston when LeBron showed out, this is one of the worst losses I've seen from the Cavs since LeBron's got back to Cleveland. This is bad. So will it, will it hurt them that much if they don't get home court in the finals? I'm sorry, in the Eastern Conference finals? Maybe so, maybe not. I wouldn't want to play Boston in a game seven in Boston. I wouldn't want to do it. I need home court. Now, LeBron just showed that they can beat Boston in Boston, but it wasn't a game seven in the Eastern Conference Finals. That's all I'm saying. And if you think this Cavs team is primed to make another run, I'm telling you right now, there's a little bit something different around it about this team. Usually LeBron's teams get it together towards the end of the regular season, and they go into the postseason with steam. The Cavs are not going into the postseason with any steam at all. And people are asking me to pinpoint what exactly is the problem with this Cavs team. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to go hard. I can go hard on Kevin Love. I can go hard on J.R. Smith. Inconsistency since he's gotten back. And how he ruined the team chemistry because he pretty much only played half the season so far. And I can take it a couple other places how they got a lot of guys who don't play defense. And at this point in their lives, their names bigger than what they are as players. Like a Darren Williams. Right? Like a Derrick Williams. A lot of guys on that. Iman Shumpert, name bigger than what he is as a player. Tristan Thompson got superstar popularity, but a, a good, borderline good player on the court. I'm just going to say this. When LeBron leaves the court, Kyrie Irving this season has not shown the ability to hold the fort down. Period. You can take that for what you want. I'm going to do a whole vlog on what I think is up with Kyrie Irving. Next. So you'll get this one. Then I'm going to come back with some more fire. And I'm going to tell you why I don't believe Kyrie Irving is a superstar. Cavs blow a 26-point lead. Losing overtime to the Hawks. Probably their worst loss of the season. This Cavs team is not in the best shape heading into the postseason. And... And trust me, around this time of the year, the Cavs are usually sweeping teams in the first round of the playoffs. That's what they're getting ready for. Usually they're, they're rolling towards that last stretch, playoff start in the week, and the Cavs are struggling. All right? Comment your response below. What you think about the Cavs? I'm coming back with this very heart, 
felt Kyrie Irving video in about 30 minutes. Thank y'all for the love. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at bookingatismistelefero.com. Again, that's bookingatismistelefero.com.